Okay, so for our experiment today, we're going to make it rain, right? And for this experiment, we need a glass jar. We have that. A plate. We're heating up some water right now and some ice. And we're going to show you how to make it rain. So I'm heating up some water so it's steaming hot. And then we're going to pour it in that jar. Okay, don't put it on yet. And then we're going to put the plate on top of the jar and then ice on the plate and watch it rain. So I'll come back as soon as our water's ready. Yeah, so we have steaming hot water here. I just microwaved it for about a minute 45, and I'm gonna fill the jar up about one third of the way. Ooh, that is really hot. Yeah, about there. Okay, put the glass and put the plate on top. Can you put the plate up here? We're gonna wait just one second. No, wait one second. Okay. We're supposed to let it sit for just a second. It's already starting to condense. That's okay. Okay, go ahead and put ice on there. And what we should see... Is rain. Yeah, is we're going to see some water droplets form on the side. And that is basically how rain works. The warm air moves up hits cooler temperatures and then condenses and comes back down as rain. Good job. Oh, do you see any water forming? Well, we want to see if there's some stuff comes down. Oh, I just saw one. Oh, there goes another one. Yep, it's raining in there, Torin. Look, see the water droplets coming down? We made it rain. Is that cool? And the ice is melting. It is. Is it melting? It is melting a little bit, huh? Well, that's pretty cool. We just showed how rain works. Yeah, that ice is melting because it's hot in there, huh? Cool. Was that fun? Yeah, alright, we're done.